and welcome to Lean and Clean with Fitness Chef Christine. I'm Christine, your host. Today we're going to be talking all about sheet pan meals. It is a very efficient way to get your protein and your veg in there all at one shot and it'll make many portions so you don't have to keep redoing it all the time. We have lots of options. Today we're going to do chicken thighs, which I've got marinating. What I did was I took some zata seasoning. So this is going to be a Mediterranean flavor. Some zata seasoning, which is an oregano based seasoning with sesame and I coated the chicken with it. And then I took a little bit of lemon olive oil, because you wanna get that good flavor in there and just drizzle it over the top. Then from there, we're going to go ahead and base all of our veggies on our sheet bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut on a diagonal the zucchini. And you wanna do them a little bit chunky because you don't want them to cook too quickly that chicken's gonna take a little while. So we're just gonna spread that out on our sheet pan. And you can use basically whatever vegetables you like or you have on hand. You can even use frozen vegetables. I'm gonna take one onion and just chunk it up. Because again, you don't want it to cook too quickly. You wanna give it, the chicken a chance to cook with it. And the chicken juices are gonna make it fabulous. We definitely want all of that flavor. Now there's many ways you can cut your pepper. I just like to cut around the seeds but you can do however you want. We can talk about that as well. We're just gonna cut those in nice chunky pieces, taking out that little rib. And keep on trucking here. Take out that rib again. Just, you don't have to, but it does add better flavor, so you don't have any of that bitterness. And come in here. And I love to do multicolored. I always wanna eat the rainbow. You wanna get it so that you are really getting a multitude of colors and benefits from. So let's do this one a little bit different. We'll just come around and peel it open. Just a different way to cut it. There's no real right or wrong. This is just food for ourselves. So we're not, we want to make it look pretty, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to get all those good veggies in there. So we're going to again, chunk it up. And then we're going to come around and get those in nice cubes. And put that in there. But we want our food to be visually pleasing as well as healthy. So that is always something to keep in mind. Yeah, I'll get this last one done. Now, if you don't like peppers, absolutely use whatever you like. I'm gonna do some peppers, some onions, some zucchini. And then we'll do a sheet pan of just roasted vegetables too. So they're always good to have on hand in case you wanna make things like green bowls, or if you wanna do roasted peppers and roasted veggie subs. And there's lots of different things we could do, wraps. Okay, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna add our salt and pepper. And then we're gonna add a little bit of that zata seasoning to the veggies. But first I'm gonna hit it with this lemon olive oil. One, I love the flavor, but it also helps that spice stick. So we're gonna go ahead and just massage all that olive oil in there. And I had put a little bit of spray olive oil on there as well. And then we're gonna hit with that zata seasoning. Again, it's a Middle Eastern seasoning that has very heavy in uh, oregano and thyme and sesame. And then I've got some fresh basil that I picked. I grow it year round, so we've got lots and lots of flavor in there. And that will just infuse while it cooks. We're gonna put a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna smash it down so that we've got a little bit of that flavor coming out. Let's peel this one. Just slice off the end here, maybe. Slice off the end and then just peel back. We got our nice clove in there. And get that other end off of there. We're just gonna give it a good smack. Now, I, I cannot eat garlic, but I can infuse things with garlic. I'm allergic to it, so I have to be really careful. And now we're gonna take that chicken that we've marinated. And I, did, I just did a quick marinade. I just rubbed it with the seasoning, hit it with some lemon olive oil. We're just gonna sneak it right in there with those veggies. And it can actually come right on top of the veggies doesn't really matter and take a little break after this and wash hands and then we'll hit it with some salt and pepper again but we always want to keep our hands clean and the rest I'll use this as a garbage bowl so that we will compost later all right so we're gonna take a break for a second and then I'll show you what comes next so now that I have impeccably clean hands I am gonna go ahead and add some pepper Always important to add salt and pepper to everything. Now our zata seasoning has a little bit of salt in it, but not enough that we wanna skip it. So put a little salt in there. Now we're gonna hit it with some tomatoes. I've got some red and yellow tomatoes, which 
will blister as it as they cook and give off their juices, giving it a wonderful flavor. And then you can see there's lots of components to this. So we have a lot of flavors going on. We're gonna hit it with some caramel olives. If you don't like olives, absolutely leave them off. It's perfectly fine. Pick the things that you are gonna to love to eat. All right, one more hit of this Zata seasoning. So we've got it all. And then right before it's done, we're gonna hit it with some feta cheese crumbles and let those melt in. All right, I think I put it in the oven. Okay, so we're gonna do another tray because as long as the oven is heated up, we have options to do more than one thing at a time. I'm gonna hit this one with some truffle olive oil. It's just a light olive oil with a tiny bit of truffle flavor. So sometimes the truffle oil is for flavoring in terms of salads and things. Sometimes I like it as an added bonus when I am roasting. All right, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna put our broccoli here. This is just a store-bought veggie tray. It's perfect because when you have leftovers and you have company, you can just roast them on up. We put these carrots in there, that leftover cauliflower, and I'm even gonna roast some of the celery. I actually love roasted celery. It gets nice and soft and delicious. And then we're gonna repeat our process. We're gonna go ahead and put some ground pepper on there and some kosher salt. A little more. And I am a quarter of seasonings because seasonings add a lot of flavor without a lot of calories. We have lots of choices. We can make them Cajun, we can add some rosemary, we can add some herbs of Provence, we could make them some Chinese spice, ancho chilies, lots and lots of some ranch seasoning. There's tons and tons of choices. So today, I think I'm just gonna stick with what we've been doing and I'll get use some herbs of Provence because what I'm gonna do is once they're roasted, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of tomato sauce and top them with a little of uh, uh, Parmesan cheese and a little bit of mozzarella cheese, almost like a pizza. It's a delicious way to get lots of veggies in without a lot of added calories and fat and just really keep it simple and yummy. And then you can grab that alongside any protein. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and shake it, get all that coating around there. Move it around with our hands. Make sure everything is coated with the seasoning and the olive oil. And then into that 400 degree oven until they're nice and soft. All right, let's get those in there. Everything is cooking and in about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll check it and see our temperature needs to be 165 minimum on our chicken thighs. You'll notice that I've used thighs instead of breasts and that's on purpose. I really like the flavor of thighs more than breast. They do have a little bit higher fat content, but that keeps them juicy longer. If you like breast, by all means, use the breast instead. All right, come back in a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so it's about halfway through. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. And now I'm gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes to those veggies. That's gonna give it that little bit of tomato flavor that I want without it being too strong. And then we're gonna add just about a tablespoon of pesto to that. So I'm gonna go grab those veggies out. We'll just add it right into the tray. Come along nicely. Go ahead and add that pesto in there first. I'll give that a little smush around. You can see they've really started to shrink down. And then we're going to add the sun-dried tomatoes in there. Get those nice and coated. We'll close it up and we'll check our chicken. Those veggies are starting to soften up, which is great. We'll give our chicken a little flip. Those chicken juices are coming in and flavoring up all those vegetables beautifully. We'll flip our zucchini over. And this is about the only maintenance you really have to do. And if, even if you didn't do it, it would still be fantastic. I just like to have it all nice and coated. There we go. Back in for about another 15, 20 minutes and then we'll check it. Okay, so our chicken is at about 160 right now. So for the last little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some crumbled feta cheese on there. It's just gonna give it that perfect amount of Mediterranean flavor. Get a little bit on each little piece there. And then we'll pop it back in for about five more minutes for that last little bait. All right, my friends, it's out. It's nice and bubbly and delicious. And we're gonna go ahead and plate this up. Let me show you what I'm putting as a base. I've got some pomini linguine. And it's just ready to use. I'll show you here. So this has virtually no carbs to it. It's all plant-based. It's delicious, and you just plate it up as so. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken and our vegetables right with it, which will give it fantastic flavor. And usually two pieces are a nice serving. We'll get some of these veggies on the side. And there we go. We'll just plate it up with a little bit of basil. Just tear some pieces on there. And what I like is the vegetables still maintain a little bit of their firmness, so it's not totally dead. But you also have some lovely, so you've got some lovely texture in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these other grilled vegetables on the side just for a little extra flavor with that sun-dried tomatoes. It is perfect. So there you have it. It's super quick. It took about 25 minutes altogether, and we'll just temp out our chicken, and I'll show you that we've hit the mark here. So you'll see that our chicken is at 165. Actually, it's beyond 165 here, so we're at 167, so we know we're in the safe zone. You really wanna make sure that your chicken is cooked all the way through, okay? so. I hope that this encourages you to try it. If you're not a chicken fan, you can do it with pork, you can do it with shrimp, you can do it with uh, beef, anything works. And we'll go through a bunch of these different recipes. I love to mix it up and try different things. I hope you'll give it a shot. And if you have liked this episode, I hope that you will go ahead and hit that five-star button on Apple Podcasts or leave us a review on YouTube or wherever you're watching this. Follow us and we'll keep up making sure that you get great food to meet your fitness goals. I love you all, have a great day. You're always in my prayers.